Welcome back everybody to Rage 2. We're on to episode number four. We have just finished off Mutant Bowl TV and we've now got to head to the second part of this which is just over here which is now for the Wasteland Celebrity and Lusum Hagen. We're going to go to the Chaz Car Derby. Now one thing to point out, since the last episode I've switched from PC to now on Xbox One. So I've got myself to exactly the same position that we were in at the end of the episode three. I've unlocked all of the same things, I've done all of the little side bits exactly the same, but we are now playing on Xbox One. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you are, let me know what you're doing in the comments, and of course, if you want to get involved, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think of the game. Are you playing it? Are you going to be getting it? Is it a game that you think you would want to play? Uh, and then also, if you do enjoy the video, a like goes a huge way to supporting me. Every single one of you who does that is so very much appreciated. A share, that's just huge. Obviously sharing it with your friends, across your social media. It's great to spread the rage to noise and love of this series. And then, why not subscribe if you're not already doing so? Now before we go into the Chaz Car Derby, I'm going to insert a very small snippet of a clip here. Now I was lucky enough with Bethesda in the UK the other day to actually go stock car racing. Now I'm presuming that is what is going to happen as we head into Chaz Car, but enjoy this small clip and then we will jump straight back into the action and I'm the one lying across the bonnet of the car. You'll see what I mean. So welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet. It was such an incredible day. The rain came down so goddamn hard all day, but so much fun was had actually going stock car racing and smashing up cars on a track. One experience I will never forget. So thankful to Bethesda for that opportunity. And now we're going to be doing it actually in game in the Chaz Car Derby. But ho so hopefully everything I learned in real life is of course going to help me in the Chaz Car Derby. Chaz Car Derby it is. Keep your eyes on the screen. I'm going to win this. Good luck, Walker. With those psychos you'll be racing, you're going to need it. Okay, so next race, Chaz Car Derby, Golden God of the Hot Rod. God damn. God damn. Look what the ball tall rolled in. You here to bet your ass <coughs> in the race for Chaz? I got bored listening to him. I just walked Racing, straight in. Baby. Oh, here we go. I can see you got the grit to be great. You got the meat it takes to take the plate. And you got all the trimmings, too. Got a contract right here, Prime Cut. <laughs> you sign that? Well, you sign it blood. Ah. <laughs> oh. You race your way to the top crust like a knife through sirloin, and you emerge victorious and take the gravy too. <laughs> Do I get a free bit of chicken or a turkey leg like you've got? Also, can I have the sausage I from start? your head? 
Scritch scratch. We got your John H and we good to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you start at the bottom, fresh meat. Get the pity bucket. You prove your sizzle in that slow-mo ride. And then move on up. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> Go grab your ride when ready, huh? Thanks, Chaz. Okay, here we go then. I've done it in real life. It is now time to in-game and win this Chaz car derby. Don't you run now. I ain't running nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna take the outside route through this way. I'm gonna barge him out of the way as much as I can. It's exactly what I did in real life when I was doing the star car racing. So it's only right that I do it in-game as well to get the victory here at the Chaz Car Grand Prix. Miss Lady, you seem to be the person who is currently in first place and in my way. Oh, that's not so good. Definitely probably going to take in that better. Man, this... The handbrake on this thing is tough. Right, I'm going to go middle of the three. Gumball Deuce. See you later. Oh, can I get Lady through this way? I think I might have done. Okay, first place. Presuming we're getting close to the end of the first lap. Big banking corner. Start finish straight, here we go. Lap two it is. First place so far. Hopefully in one minute 30, I'll have won this race and made a name for myself. We can move on. Whoa, hold on, is that? Maybe X on this. Is the handbrake not B? I have to try that again as I get to the other tight corners. Maybe I've literally been pressing the wrong button all the way round. Boosting round corners definitely helps in spurts. All about trying to get the the slide on. Okay, we've just got to make the most of this last bit of the lap. I think we're in good position. Don't think we've got a huge amount. Oh, that's going to hurt. But I think we'll be okay. This rust bucket does not control very well. Last banking corner. Use the boost that we've got. Onto the final straight. And there it is. We have got the victory. Actually, we got that by nine seconds. Got some auto parts as well. Gumball Deuce coming in second. Miss Lady pushed down to third. And we've now got a new vehicle unlocked. The Chaz car. Auto parts are used to upgrade your vehicles. Visit the vehicles menu to purchase vehicle upgrades. Will do. So Chaz car has been unlocked in vehicles menu. Win races to unlock skins for your Chaz car. Anytime. 
Chaz, it's been an absolute pleasure. Mayor Lusum, I've got it. Free pass to the winner's lounge. I saw it all on the vid screen. Guess you really are the shit. That was a great A sportsmanship. What can I say? That's how I roll. I'm on my way there now. So we have done what is necessary to put ourselves into the winner's lounge. And the question is, that is that one there. Now I don't think, let me just quickly check, I don't, oh we can fast travel, let's do that. Destination reached. So winner's lounge mode initiated. is where we're heading now. And the security guard that basically told us to go stick it earlier in episode one or two maybe? Well now, he's gonna bow down to my greatness. I'm here to see Clegg Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. Thanks, Sydney Quick Draw. Let's go find this Clegg. This better be worth it. I've gone through a lot to get into this place. Okay, there's a random head on the wall. Plenty you killed of... the champ. Love your style, gladiator. Hey, oh. champ. Let's go, numb nuts. The bar's over there. Wow, everyone knows who I am, and they also know to call me numb nuts. Not sure what he's doing, sleeping on the dance floor. Hey, hey, listen up already. I got a great. <gasps> Nay, tremendous surprise for you all. Looky over there, dames and dudes. Here he is, the infamous wasteland tycoon Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. <laughs> I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only, Killer Dilla Walker! <laughs> it's freakish, but it's uh, my fun. latest golden goose. You stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> so, uh, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I do like his little fan on his shoulder as well. That dude is still doing the running man as well. I'm guessing, uh, That's some I solid dance work. Need no introduction. Now you've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clegg Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. And that's why you're here, of course. I know everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Ah, here we are. What did you get your belt for? Is it boxing? Is that where you got a boxing Behold, glove? Behold, Killadilla Walker! This is the innermost core of this high-powered city. This is the multi-watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire! My office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am I'm guessing you won't miss that. in town today, but soon... Power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit, crone, bluesome Hagar surrenders her mayoral office to me, and things here will take a turn. Or two for the better. I'll just you wait. So, the enriched number. Not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, right? 
Now let me tell you about my father. My a father, really bad crazy guy. My father was a great man. He, everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money to the eye. I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What? What could possibly be so imminent? Dunno, but I think I've rinsed you for everything that you've got on this floor. Oh, right, right. Oh. Hold on a sec. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a own shot eyeball. They're extra gobby. Right, right, right. Talk to me. Okay, now's our chance. I mean, Got to no, plant I mean, the little uh, tracker, and now we can just leave. All right, Lusum. The gizmo is planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. On it. I think I've literally taken everything I possibly could out of that office. Need some lift music. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker! Oh. One more thing. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? Say what? Oh, surprised. Uh oh. Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clay Clayton. Yeah, it's true. My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah, I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner. Who? The authority, that's who. I'm on a first name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit. And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. Now, I guess I'm just the best at everything I do, and you're just a stupid little loosem puppet. Well then, goodbye, loosem puppet. Goodbye! Oh dear, this is not going to bode well. Where's he literally throw me into sewers? Oh, I have this feeling. Oh my god, why can I not open that crate? What on earth is that? That is Jumbo. We're gonna we're gonna try and kill Jumbo. Oh no! Oh no! Did he actually do any damage to him? Okay, this dash needs to... Okay, that's doing some damage. That's doing some damage. I'm just going to have to keep Rip. I'm just going to let Rip with a shotgun straight to the face. At least the dash kind of worked there. Oh, we got him. We got him. Jumbo is down. A mutant life gland. Bring it to the... Uh, bring to the cyber dock in Wellspring to augment yourself. Arc chess, intel traders. So we've got to go to the cyber dock with the life gland. Lucem, you read me? Barely. You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is... Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk one way or the other. Over and out. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here that I can take. Oh man, I, I feel for the dude. He was there. It's like a punisher. Unfortunately, I punished him. Whoa, it's okay. You just come in to mop up things, are you? Feel free, carry on. Do not mind me. 
I really wish, though, I could actually break these boxes a little bit without having to be so close. I suppose I could duck for them. But again, that'd be too easy. Right, what have we got here? We need, we need that. We can take that, we can take that. There's we'll take the data pad. Jumbo needs looking after. Unfortunately, Jumbo now needs more than looking after. Well, that was a nice welcoming committee. A committee that just got wiped out. Anyone else want some? That mannequin did, and it got it. That mannequin will not mess with me again. I'm telling you right now. Okay, let's well pick up these supply crates. Grab anything and everything I can. I really want to get through to there. Let's see if we can get to that as well. Could be some extra cash, which will always come in handy. Feeding Jumbo. Again, Jumbo requires no food now. Okay, this could be the tunnel that should... Yeah, there we go. Can't miss out on a supply crate. That'd just be silly. Okay, finding our way back into Wellspring, we'll take whatever we can here. On one of the speediest ladder climbers ever. There's no time to waste when you're on a ladder with me. How did that not get you? Anyone else want it? Man, it's actually... Do you know what? The gunplay in this... is actually really good. Like, it's very satisfying, if that makes sense. Controls well. Guns feel powerful as they should. And there's a nice difference between each of the guns Lose that you them. use. I found a tank. Predator. Like authority. That's the ticket. The project dagger predator. The tank. difference between we'll the shotgun Imagine it was under our and this assault the rifle. There's a clear distinction. And actually both are very satisfying in their own way. Melee, on the other hand, I think, still needs a little bit of work. But that's just me. Take the data pad. We will read all those at some point, but no time to waste at the moment. Okay, are we going to get this tank working now? Or is that a job for another day, maybe, I'm guessing? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm presuming... We now know it's here. We can then get it working. In the near future. I'm gonna double check through. Oh, it looks like there's multiple ways in. There's my ride up. Oh, here we go. Let's go overdrive. We may as well. We've not done it for a while. I have the ability to. So why not have some fun with it? I cannot wait to get more of the abilities as well. They are so fun when you get them. 
Who else we got down here? Behind me. Just like that. I feel like that one must be upstairs, it is, yeah. <laughs> He's just getting set to blow me up. And I destroyed you. Shouldn't be long now. Oh, we got more. Is that not the way we need to go? Or, oh, okay. Thought that might have been our way out of there. Okay, so the mark's over there. Hey, people! You just went flying. You is dead. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought that might work. Okay, the melees don't work. Oh, he's got he's got some moves. I'll give him that. I mean, it didn't help him in the long run, but he had some moves. Team is in the tower, standing by. Shouldn't be long now. Hook me up to their channel, so I know what's going on. Yeah, hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup, formation. Lock and load. Breach! Clayton, drop the weapon. We're uh, taking you down. You're not taking anything, suckers. I'm Clay Clayton. Oh, <laughs> Did he literally just... Took off in his copter. Damn it! I should have done this job myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office and we'll talk. So your office is there, right next to his goddamn huge building. Unbelievable. Hello. Uh, okay, I thought that might be one I could grab, but. I'm guessing. Oh no, it is. Hold on. Each of those is giving us a little bit of extra, kind of like XP towards each of the different areas. So hopefully, the more we find, the more upgrades I'll be able to do. But let's get back to Lucem and see what she's got to say now. Make it quick, Ranger. Hold on, you wanted to see me? So, I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggy's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now, with Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some projects around here. And I have a feeling that you could too. Okay, so the projects for Lusum are now unlocked. And so we've got John Marshall, Lusum Hagar. I think it's Hager. Hager? I don't know. So we've got a convoy locator. What else have we got here? We've got Wingstick Lock On. Now, Definitely come in handy. Can I get that actually? Hmm. I'm not going to take that just yet because let's just double check what John Marshall can offer us. 25% more of each type of bullet ammunition. Character six throwables of each type. Project points to purchase. Uh oh, reduce shakes and blow when taking damage. Surprise attack. Uh, I'm not too bothered about that at the moment. Grenade tennis. Grenades can be deflected with a well-timed melee strike. Yeah, that's definitely something we'll get in the future, but I think for sure, let's purchase this one. And we will definitely get the throwables bag up to six. So we've just completed Wasteland Celebrity. I think for now, 
the next thing we will look to do is we will come back to the map and so we've got over here that's ground control so that's reached Eden Space Center see I think that will be the next one that's like the first main mission for the dock so we should probably do that one next that's going to be I think where we're going to head to but that is going to wait until the next episode I'll make my way out of Lucen's office and we're going to get set on a long journey 5,862 meters in total to the Eden Space Center where I believe we need to bring that satellite down out of orbit but that will be for the next episode I do hope you've enjoyed everything that you've seen in this episode our long-range scouts have been observing the immortal shrouded establish themselves in the scraplands okay i really want this guy to, to stop. wonder how okay. they plan to deal with the mutant crusher looks like there. we'll be ending Sack it after this he's infamous for attacking and killing anything that comes even near his hiding hole i almost feel sorry for them almost right so that wasn't as long as i was presuming it was going to be so yeah we are Oh, hold on. What would we, we actually will do this quickly? I'm trusting the range on this uh, this ocular implant. It's painstaking work. We're talking nanometers in any direction, and it makes the biggest difference to the wearer. Uh, you are a second generation archist. That much is plain to see. Oh, you have endless potential. And most folks just come here to get a, a limb replacement or a cool ocular. But you, you could become so, so much more. What are you talking about? I have no I clue what he's talking about. And so attuned to your arc tech. There are several modifications that are But the mods require rare things, which you will have to contribute. Well, scan my mod menu for details. All right. If it's as powerful as you say. Indeed. The procedures are invasive. But your nanotrites will compensate. Let's get started. Alright, so I've got to find a few extra bits. So, for instance, on these, I still need other elements to actually be able to do any I of that. Suggest so, yep, yeah, thanks, Doc. So this is going to bring the episode to its conclusion again. Hope you've had a great day. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. Everyone is obviously hugely appreciated. On top of that, why not share this with all your friends, get them involved in the series. If you are enjoying this, let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you playing Rage 2? Is this a game that you think you'll pick up and play? Or are you happy just watching a playthrough of the game? But until the next time, my name has been Tommy Teach 9 Believe in your dreams. Become legend. And I'll speak to you again in the very next episode of Rage 2.